David Brewster here, new episode of Chord Play. This is the Chords of Catatonia, and full disclosure, Catatonia is one of my favorite bands, and I've been hopelessly listening to them for the last few years. And originally they formed in Stockholm, Sweden in 1991, and originally they were a full-formed, you know, Swedish death metal band. In early, you know, promo photos, they had corpse paint, and they were holding hatchets and axes and stuff like that. So their origin is very spooky and kind of mysterious, but then over the years they've morphed and changed and grown and mutated. And these days, they're probably a little bit closer to progressive rock and progressive metal than their Swedish death metal origin. But a great band, and I'm a huge fan, so I haven't really had any requests to feature their music. So I'm putting this episode together for me. So here we go. So as I just mentioned, Catatonia originally was a Swedish death metal band, full on. And then over the years, they've kind of changed and shifted gears, you know, musically speaking. And part of the reason why is their vocalist Jonas actually suffered a throat injury, you know, his vocal cords, and he's unable to scream the way that he once was. And they actually brought Michael Ackerfeld from Opeth in for a couple albums, and he was screaming with the band. But then they literally just kind of moved away from where they were and moved into this other area. So if you're a metalhead, I mean, you can definitely find members of this group, you know, playing with the band Bloodbath. But Catatonia currently is more ambient, and they have these textures, and... Their songs almost have movements where maybe it starts heavy and then it gets real mellow and dreamy. Or maybe it starts dreamy and then it gets heavy. And I love that because when you hear one of their songs, however it starts, it's completely different by the time you get to the end of the song. I love that where you don't really know what's going to happen and it moves and changes. Very cool band. So the guitarist Anders Nystrom really isn't a household name here in America. He definitely has a bigger name and recognition, you know, in Europe and obviously in Sweden. But he's a great guitarist. And over the years with Catatonia, he's used different tunings. And I think they definitely used different tunings in the early days. But these days, he basically tunes down two whole steps. And I did give you the notice at the beginning, you know, for the tuning and also the thicker strings that I'm using. So you might need to beef up your strings just to withstand these lower drop tunings. The music in this episode came from four different Catatonia albums, and unlike other episodes of Chord Play, I mean, if you've been watching my channel, I typically feature a band, and more often than not, I'm usually, you know, focusing on their early music, like where it started, you know, their first, you know, couple albums. But with Catatonia, I do like their early stuff, even though I'm not really as big a fan of their early stuff as I am their later, you know, output. But this episode is going to basically focus on their more recent music, or their new stuff. And then from there, you can obviously travel back and listen to some of their early stuff, check out some of the stuff with Michael Ackerfeld. But uh, we are going to focus on modern Catatonia in this episode. So here we go. With the opening, that's the song Sanction from the Fall of Hearts album. That's my favorite Catatonia album. It's on the wall right there. And a killer riff in this song, like this. <laughs> And keep in mind, we're tuned down two whole steps, so I'm going to refer to what these chords are, but they're not actually the pitch I'm going to refer them to, because we're tuned down. But it's a B to a G, even though pitch-wise, that's not really a B and a G, but a B5 to a G5 power chord, and then single notes, this F-sharp, low E open, F-sharp to G, like this. And then right there, spell out this G, B to E, and that's E minor. It's uh, octaves, so it's a B to an E octave right there. And then the low E open. And then this D octave to an F sharp octave. And then this E to a G octave. And then just kind of pummel that low E. Go back to the beginning. And then add this octave fill now on the low E and D strings. 
sharp right there to signal harmonic minor in the key of E. Write that D sharp to E. And then you hear this, you know, kind of quick E off the 12th fret there to low E. to that F sharp right there. But that's a killer riff, and that's a great song, too. Check that out. Up next is the song Behind the Blood, and this is from their album City Burials, which came out in 2020. And if you're not really familiar with Catatonia and you're looking for a song to kind of jump in with, jump in with this one. It's a great song. And this definitely has that 80s kind of hard rock and metal kind of feel or vibe to it. Cool riff, like this. <laughs> guitar solo and then after that opening solo it starts with this riff and you want to start with that A power chord right there and then you're going to move up an octave basically to this A5 you know an octave higher than that one but before you play that A5 you're actually going to play A augmented you know with a raised fifth right there and we've talked about augmented chords a lot on this channel think Dokken and Tool and there's a whole bunch of episodes that have augmented chords or at least partial you know implied augmented chords right there um, and just keep you know banging on that a string and then a g5 over a and you can hear like a little bit of vibrato he's kind of shaking the chords just a little bit like that then reach down and get this a uh, i'm sorry f5 over a an A5, and then that G again. And the last time right there, it's octaves again, this A to C to A. And then you repeat all that again. Next up is the song Onward Into Battle, and this is from the Dark Is The New Day album, another great Catatonia album. And this kind of reveals uh, Anders' fascination with this, you know, this A minor add nine, and we've featured that a lot on this channel too. And that's one of my favorite chords as well. But you can definitely see Anders using that chord or variations of that chord in lots of their songs, so we're going to hit a few right here. But Onward Into Battle is a great tune, and it starts something like this. about Catatonia's music. And it starts with that uh, E minor add nine right there. And just let that ring and it sounds haunting and mysterious right there, right? So strum that and just let it ring. And then do that again. And then you hear this really slow, it's painfully slow, but he's really just starting on the G string. the 
the remaining strings that are still ringing from that A minor add nine, let that ring. And then you're just gonna basically let that open, uh, open A ring. And then you start adding, you know, the fretted C, that open B, the open high E, and then this fretted B to that fretted A and end on this fretted C right there. So it's really unusual the way he's treating that chord where it's ringing and it's, you know, kind of uh, dissonant a little bit, but it's so cool, really creepy. You know, something like that. And then just strum an A minor chord right there. Let that ring, the verse is starting right there. Strum it again. And then you hear this really tasty, it's F major right there, an F major triad. Just lower that A to A flat, and then suddenly it's A minor, and then go back to, or I'm sorry, F minor, and then you want to go back to A minor. My mouth kind of got uh, jumbled up there. So it's two A minors, and then that F major to F minor, and then back to A minor twice again. here, and then E minor, and it kind of moves into the next part of the song, but check that song out, it's great, and I love the way the guitars and, you know, the swirling kind of delay effect, you know, it's very ambient and very hypnotic too when you hear it. Try it with headphones, it'll blow your mind. Next up is The Winter of Our Passing, this is also from the City Burials album, and another demonstration of Anders' fascination with this A minor, you know, add nine, and A minor, you know, chord area. And he doesn't always use it, but he does use it sometimes. But uh, the winter of our passing, this ambient, you know, spacey kind of guitar part again. Something like this. It's really cool. <laughs> C and then the high E open and just let it ring. Like that. And then you're going to scoot up here and grab this B, then the high E open, grab that B octave right there on the 12th fret on the B string, and you're doing, which is really weird, you know, B, E, and then the octave of B. And then you hear the B, you know, the B string to that high E open, and you're changing that B note to A right there. Like that. And which is really cool. And then back to that, you know, partial A minor. And then this is really kind of like a B11. Thanks to that high E string against that B. You know, but a very outside the box, interesting guitar part. Very unusual, but I love stuff like that, where it's like, what is he doing? Next up is the song Second, this is from their most recent album, The Messian, which came out last year. And this once again kind of reveals that fascination Anders has with this A minor area of chords. Not always, but uh, here he's doing it again. But uh, second, something like this. and kind of slowly making his way through the chord. And then right there, you're going to slide into this A minor. Right, so... So that E minor is going to be shifted down to E minor right there. It's E minor over G. And then move that down a whole step. There's D minor over F. string right there, like that, really tasty right there, and 
you gotta think that's like a, what, a D minor six right there implied? So you're moving this, you know, minor form from A minor to E to D, which is really cool. And then after that D minor six implied right there, you're gonna slide back up onto uh, this you know, partial uh, E minor. And right there you're gonna do that kind of uh, picking pattern and then slide that E to F right there, the flat nine. You know, which is really interesting. The flat nine of E or E minor. You know, but uh, all the way through that guitar part, really cool. Kind of subdued and mellow, but I love stuff like that. Next up is the song Takeover, which is the opening track from the album The Fall of Hearts. And there's this really interesting chord and an unusual picking pattern, and it creates this spacey kind of hypnotic sound like this. So it's an A sharp 11. Think of Diary of a Madman, you know, Randy Rhodes. Or also Leo Brower, which is actually where Randy got that chord from. Um, classical guitarist, Leo Brower. But uh, the picking pattern there, it's very unusual, but there's an A sharp 11. So you're basically playing the open A, the fretted A, C sharp, the high E open. And then this fretted D sharp right there is the sharp 11, or raised, you know, fourth. come back, stop on the D string, then you're going to go all the way up to the high E again, and then play the B. So the first half is this. Alright, that's the first half. And then you're going to play all the way up and down the chord, and then play the D once again. So if you put both those halves together, this one... hypnotic dreamy sound but that's also a great picking workout you know for your picking hand too So it's in an odd time signature, and it's a very odd, you know, strange tonality. But I love chords like that. You know, it's hypnotic and dreamy and kind of suspenseful. And then when you add that picking pattern, it's really cool. Next up is the song Pale Flag, and this is also from the Fall of Hearts album. I told you that was my favorite Catatonia album. And it's this acoustic guitar part, and I didn't want to torture my acoustic guitar tuning down two whole steps. So I'm just going to play this on my electric, which is already, you know, restrung and tuned that way. And feel free to torture your acoustic guitar. You can tune it down. Um, there will be very little tension on the neck, I think, in that tuning, unless you use giant strings. But anyway, I'm also finger picking this guitar part. I think Andrews might actually be using a pick, but I kind of like playing around with my fingers on this. And it's very simple, but I love the song. And the guitar part just really lends itself to the tune. Something like this. and kind of moody and we're really just playing you know single fretted notes on the high E string with the low E and B open with this kind of finger style or if you choose to use a pick you can of course pick through that too but we're starting with the fretted B right there 
the low E and the B open like that. And then go to D. And then you're gonna move up to the C sharp and hang on that for a minute. And then E. Move up to the F sharp. Back to D. And then back to E. So there's definitely a melody there. Right? Mixed in with those open strings. note and just let it ring. Now do all that again. The third time it ends a little bit differently. There's a hammer on pull off with a slide. And that D, E, D and then shift to that C sharp. And then the last time it's the same as the first and second. And then the first starts right there. And if you haven't heard that song before, I really get lost in that song. It's kind of hypnotic and moody and very dark, you know, but I really like that tune. So check out Pale Flag. It's a great one. All right, that's going to wrap this episode of Chord Play with the Chords of Catatonia. And like I mentioned at the beginning, you know, I put this together for myself mainly. I didn't really notice anybody asking for Catatonia music in the comments. But this is, you know, kind of a lesson that I wanted to make for myself. I'm a fan, you know, of the band. And I've been hopelessly listening to their music all through the pandemic the last two years. I mean, Catatonia has just been my soundtrack in the car at home. Obviously now on guitar, you know, I'm making a video, you know, surrounding some of their music. These guys are great, and I definitely think they need more attention and notoriety and everything in the States, because I know they're very popular and big in Europe, but then when I talk to people here in America, they're like, who's that? And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So definitely I like to turn guitarists, you know, they're watching you know, the channel here onto different bands and different players. So check out Catatonia. They're a brilliant group, and Anders is a great guitarist full of all sorts of stuff. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Night Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.